name is Naveen Rajpal. I am the CEO of Relisys Medical Devices Limited. Uh, we are a cardiac manufacturer based out of Hyderabad, very close to the airport uh, in Hyderabad. Uh, we set up the factory in 2008. It was inaugurated by our late president, uh, Professor APJ Kalam. Uh, Dr. Kalam had a huge role to play in the early days in guiding us to develop these devices that were clinically acceptable, uh, make them as per uh, international standards to compete with the uh, foreign manufacturers. We uh, made a humble start with about 50 people and uh, today we are 500 people. The USP of Relisys is we are the only fully backward integrated manufacturer in this part of the world. Uh, we started only with cardiac stents uh, and balloon catheters and some small accessories. Uh, today we do transcatheter heart valves, we do peripheral devices, uh, we do diagnostic products. Um, we, we are trying to be uh, a company that can manufacture a catheter to access all kinds of vasculature and our aim being to provide uh, affordable health care uh, to the common man. Um, we don't want a life being lost because uh, you know, of uh, affordability reasons for medical devices. Look forward to serving mankind for the time to come. Thank you. Vivek Gandhikota. I'm the technology director, one of the technology directors for the group company ZetaTech. Uh, I work primarily with the uh, research and development wing, uh, wing of the company. So ZetaTech is a group company uh, of which uh, Motion Dynamic is a sister concern. Uh, we are currently uh, working on uh, a lot of development projects and research projects uh, with Motion Dynamic. And uh, one of the products uh, for which uh, uh, we have been recognized today uh, by PCCI uh, is uh, an anti-drone uh, laser system. Uh, this is a system that has been developed uh, in collaboration with DRDO uh, over a transfer of technology product and uh, uh, we have done this development over a period of uh, two years and we have successfully deployed uh, functional anti-drone laser weapons uh, for our services uh, at uh, different locations. Uh, so a little uh, brief about the company is that uh, so ZetaTech is mostly an engineering technology company. We focus mostly on uh, manufacturing, supply, uh, development and research. Uh, over the years, uh, ZetaTech has gotten involved mostly with technologies that are denied uh, to the country. And uh, I can probably say today that uh, in some of the areas that uh, technology was denied to the country, we were able to indigenize uh, these products and uh, make it available to the nation. Uh, I look forward uh, to doing uh, more such uh, ventures with DRDO and I would like to spe uh, especially thank uh, FTCCI for uh, recognizing our efforts in this endeavor. Thank you. I am Dr. N. Kishore Nath, working as Scientist G and uh, Project Director Veda in Advanced System Laboratory DRDY Hyderabad. I thank FTCCI Excellence Awards for uh, uh, choosing me as a Excellence in Science and Engineering Award. Uh, it's a honor to me. I work in the area of composites for developing uh, long-range uh, missile systems and launch vehicle systems. I have developed a lot of uh, composite products uh, useful for the missiles and aircrafts. In this uh, composite rocket motor casings, flex nozzle systems, composite airframes, uh, uh, composite grid stiffened sections. Uh, then we have developed uh, air bottles, helium tanks, uh, which is useful for the long-range missile systems and launch vehicles with very lightweight and long life. So this is, has been my journey in DRDO. I continue to contribute for the development of technologies in composites for the future systems. I thank FTCCA for giving me this honor in this FTCCA Excellence Awards 2022. Thank you. Thank you FTCCI for recognizing Cloud Portal Technology Solutions as uh, for excellence in marketing and innovation. Thank you so much. I am Prashanti Kolluru, founder and CEO of Cloud Portal. Uh, uh, we are mainly into marketing, sales and customer support. I started my company in 2014 with a vision of creating employment opportunities for women in technology space, uh, especially remote working opportunities for women in technology space. The seed of entrepreneurship was not uh, in 2014, but way beyond that, like way before that, 
when my son was born and i was uh, looking for remote working opportunities where i could take care of him take care of my family and at the same time hide, have an identity for myself i was then working in the us uh, i worked as a business analyst and the only opportunity i got after searching for 18 20 months is uh, our like to go go to work uh, leave my 18 months old son in a daycare and go to work it was very painful for me when i uh, talk, spoke to other women i understood women typically made two choices one as uh, go through the same pain that i was going through or take a decision make uh, become a stay at home mom this uh, triggered a thought in me that why not we have a remote working team for women where they could uh, identify themselves for a particular role that they do and also have a balance in life between their family and and work that's how we started in 2014 as a saas product development company uh, we built a lot of saas products we built uh, uh, a products which are you know saleable in the market which uh, garnered enough traction by 2018 However, uh, four years down the line, I realized somehow I was not able to meet the cause for which I started this company, because I myself come from a chemical engineering background, and it was very difficult for me to train women into technology. I had to depend on external team members and trainers to train the women workforce. That is when we diversified into marketing, sales, and customer support. Today, we have uh, more than 100 people, 100 women working from across India. we have served 400 plus women who who have come back in, from the sabbaticals and started their restarted their journeys with us i'm really honored to uh, to be part of the ftcci award ceremony today thank you so much hi uh we are very happy uh, very glad to receive this award thanks to ftci for recognizing smart check and uh, this is the first year uh, they have introduced a startup category and we are feeling this as a privilege that uh, you know we have uh, shortlisted uh, in this particular uh, uh, segment and uh, smart check is a five year old company we have started uh, in 2018 Uh, with uh, four of the team and today we are uh, 60 plus team and we have presence across the country so smartcheck is a facility management uh, software platform which we offer it for the uh, various it companies and for the buildings almost 80% uh, tech parks in uh, hyderabad and uh, various uh, named uh, companies named buildings like dlfs uh, embassies prestige kind of groups are uh, actually using our smartcheck so before smartcheck 100% facility management activities were happening uh, manual and we have digitized uh, 60% of their uh, manual activities and we have also automated uh, you know we have uh, integrated various iot's which they are already in, uh, which which are which they are already uh, uh, existing and we have integrated everything and we have given a one dashboard uh, to the management uh, for making the decisions I am Venkatesh Mashetti, technical advisor, working in Adarsh Corporate Urban Bank, which is a pioneer bank in the cooperative sector in the state of Telangana. The bank has started its operations in the year 1997 after obtaining license from Reserve Bank of India and getting registered with the Registrar of Cooperatives, Hyderabad. The operations we have started in the 1997 straight away with the help of computerization whatever available in the year 1997 the first branch we lo the head of this come first branch was located in gd metla and hyderabad then we have expanded our branch operations and network operations in just covering different states of telangana with a well integrated branch and atm network the bank has well defined technology adoption policy which helped us to adapt to the changing environment as far as it in information technology is concerned which has helped us in providing it enabled efficient uh, efficient it enabled services to the customers and we are proud to say that we are the second bank in the state of telangana to become a member in centralized payment system operated by reserve bank of india and becoming a member in 
NPCA, National Payments Corporation of India, and soon we are going to become a member in CCIL, that is Clearing Corporation of India, which is taking care of securities, government securities segment. Further, uh, the bank lays most important the emphasis on the infrastructure arrangement for providing uh, better customer services and uh, to be in the digital readiness. In the process, we have become members in Infinite. We are the first among the members from cooperative segment to become member in the Infinite segment, which is Indian Financial Network, a secured closer user group for providing a secured network for the banking segment, banking sector in the country. Then we have become, we are pioneers in providing many services, many first to our credit to mention that to name few, IMPS, mobile banking, internet banking and so on and so forth. And uh, we feel it is a great honor for our bank to get this excellence in information technology award for the year 2022, awarded by FPCCI. We feel, and we feel a, a proud moment for us, thanking FPCCI on behalf of uh, Alert Bank Fraternity. Thanks a lot. Uh, I am Venkat Chundi, CEO of HC Robotics Private Limited. Uh, we started in 2018 and uh, a group company of St. Indian. Uh, we are, have about 150 crore revenue and having operations in Australia, in US, uh, Switzerland, Germany, Netherlands and India. We, are, we have three patents and uh, doing extensive research on gyrostabilized gimbal cameras. We are the only company, one of the only companies in India manufacturing gyrostabilized gimbal cameras for armed forces. Uh, these cameras will help in uh, saving a lot of foreign exchange and also being a local supplier we can help the forces during emergencies with spare supplies and uh, the whole rollup. The gyrostabilized gimbal cameras are the cameras being used uh, for um, military aircrafts, uh, helicopters, uh, UAVs and also for perimeter surveillance and these cameras can see a person in 4 kilometers and can see a vehicle in 20 kilometers. Uh, these are specialized cameras which can be equipped on ships also for identifying the uh, rogue boats and uh, enemy boats uh, from a distance of 15 to 20 kilometers. These can be used even in the haze and uh, uh, snow. We thank uh, FTCCI for giving us an opportunity and nominating us for the innovation, product innovation category under MSC. Respected jury and FTCCI eminent personalities, we thank you once again for the award 2022 Excellence Awards under Social Welfare Initiatives for Women Empowerment. We were under the impression that a smallest good deed is better than a grandest good intention. Chaita Foundation has been established in the year 2015 with a noble objective of assisting young, poor, deserving school children to meet their basic academic needs with special focus on girl children. The foundation realized that the seeds of women empowerment should be sown in the minds of the girl children at a very young age itself by strengthening their academics. Is it necessary for the development of women empowerment at the childhood stage? Yes, definitely yes we have to see because we have to inculcate self-worthiness women independent, right to determine choices and decisions, their right to have access to opportunities and resources, right to have power to control their lives within and outside their homes, to have a healthy society. Over the last years, Chaita Foundation has organized more than 59 service-oriented service activities covering a few thousand children. Most of the activities were organized at government educational institutions where the students, by and large, are financially weak. Free distribution of stationary material, awarding prizes to meritorious students, preparatory study material for 10th class aspirants. We are of the reasoned opinion that women empowerment must 
take firm roots in India and eventually at the childhood stage. Over to CEO. Thank you FTCCI for uh, choosing Cheyuta Foundation for this prestigious award of uh, Award of Excellence for the year 2022. We are really delighted to receive this award from you. Basically, Cheyuta Foundation was started in the year 2015 with focus on young, meritorious but poor children who are studying in government schools and colleges. Our idea is to empower the women. To empower the women, the only option with us is to educate them right from childhood. Unless they are strengthened in their academics right from childhood, the women empowerment may not be possible or feasible. This was the basic idea with which we started. And in the last uh, eight years, uh, we have organized more than 59 activities at uh, several government schools and colleges. And the best part of this is, we are not seeking, in majority of the cases, any funds from outside, but we are trying to spend money on these activities from our pensionary funds, which we receive from uh, our previous services. And uh, our idea is that, in India, we have a huge requirement for empowering our women. So, we wish and we pray that everybody should join us in this noble cause and try to empower the women over the years. And we welcome everybody uh, to join us and strengthen our hands in this noble activity. Thank you so much. Thank you.